Recently, I was busy typing, and as I was typing a specific word, I missed one letter in the word. By first glance, the word seemed completely wrong, where I had really typed the word incorrectly. The emphasis being here on first glance, uh, you know, where I just explained that, you know, by first glance, the word seemed completely wrong because I just quickly looked at it. I didn't initially move slowly through each letter of the word. I looked at the word as a whole and it didn't look right at all. So I was then about to delete it to retype it when I instead moved through each letter slowly and all the initial letters were correct and there was only one letter that I didn't include in the word and so when I added it the word was there uh, all aligned and making sense what opened up in that moment is something I have faced in my process as well where I'd for example uh, make a mistake in relation to walking a specific point or I would fall within a specific application but what I not do is for example state the reality of the situation as you know I made a mistake I fell in relation to this specific point or application or explanation no I would go I'm a total failure everything is ruined it's the end of my world and then just like really in my mind go into this deep dark pit of absolute loss and ruin you know as though a meteor came and destroyed this entire earth uh, with you know the meteor representing the mistake or fall and the earth representing all of me when all the while it was really just a little rock that was thrown into a field <laughs> So it's fascinating how within the mind especially, it has the knack for making things look much worse than what they in fact are. Now, there are instances where things just in reality are obviously really bad or consequential. But in this interview, I'm focusing on the dimension where we make a mistake or fall in a point. And then we relate that one thing to everything of ourselves. Instead of seeing, realizing, and understanding that the one point or application relates to one aspect or dimension of ourselves. Uh, you know, that we're in the process of walking or transcending or changing. It's with having a look at the relationship to the word. There was in fact only one letter misplaced. But when I glanced over it, getting an overall view, it seemed like everything was wrong or misspelled. Like with what we do when we make a mistake or when we fail, we generally look at ourselves in relationship to it. And then everything of ourselves seems wrong or mistaken. But when I looked at the word specifically, I realized that there was only one letter out of place and changing that one letter changed the entire word into structure exactly as what we do when we make a mistake or we fall or we fail look only specifically in relation to the point or application one had made a mistake within or foul or failed and accordingly correct that one point find a solution establish a way to correct it or realign it and not accept or allow oneself to define everything of oneself to and as that one point as a mistake or failure, but to rather find the point where the mistake was made and correct it, change it, and or correct or change oneself within and as it. You know, essentially not looking into the mistake or the fall or the failure itself, but move through the problem slowly but surely, step by step, and establish um, a solution or change. You know, otherwise everything looks wrong from glancing at it all, 
But walking through it step by step in reality, one in the problem, see the solution. A really cool example being walked in terms of seeing through the problem into the solution is the process of emotional and feeling energy that's being walked by the Atlanteans, explaining how emotional feeling reactions tend to blind us from reality, you know, where we tend to look at reality through the energy. And once we release the energy and see into reality, you know, it's amazing how what one see or how one look at things change. We'll continue more in the next post. Thank you.